120 million kilograms of salt, we could be looking at a situation where we want to upscale it. The challenges here are like, we have some pockets of land which are still in the hands of some squatters, which we are, of, of course we are in the process of uh, trying to negotiate with them, compensate. Our policy normally is to engage people, talk to them, compensate them, then we pay them, then we, 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 we do the developments. The other, the other factor will be coming like, we are, we are, we are also uh, uh, boggled in uh, some, some situations where uh, some other government departments are demanding so much uh, taxes, like water and water management or these people, they're demanding so much taxes that if you put it into, the, into our, our cost of production, it will make this salt more expensive, it will mean it will be more, uh, it will not be able to, to meet our, 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 our the, 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 the common man is able to, to buy it. So some of these, uh, some of the other people, they don't understand the problems that we're facing. And you see, salt production depends on weather. Weather, we normally have, weather that is almost uh, going to favor us, like droughts. But normally when we have rain season, we don't like, we find it very difficult to meet the demand. The challenge of production, meeting the targets will be like, we, we, we wanted to fill the gap, the shortfall, like uh, we had another company which we had, uh, we had uh, it was under lease on us. Then there was a court case, took so many years and we cannot produce there. Our machinery are, are there, new machinery which we had bought are now rotting there, so we cannot produce salt in that land.